Insulation is an important part to any car. You know, without insulation, you know, a simple, a simple rainstorm can sound like a raging thunderstorm, or the heat from the exhaust underneath your car can make it actually bake inside. And uh, having rode in a few cars without insulation, you know it. And when most cars were made, they used just, they would just spray in a heavy coat of tar for that insulation. And then they would usually, in the inside, they would put either a jute mat or some hardboard mats. The problems with these natural fiber mats is they acquire a smell over the years. And we all know that smell, that old car smell. And you don't want to finish your restoration and have your car smell like an old car. So it's important to strip out the old sound deadening materials in there and replace them with something new. Old materials can start to lose their adhesion between the steel and the, the material itself and moisture can get in there and it can help to promote rot and everything else. So best thing to do is go in there and strip it out. You usually I'll use a heat gun or in some cases even a propane torch just to soften it up and, and pull all that old material out scrape it all down, sand it smooth, prime and paint. Now you've got a good clean surface to attach a new sound and heat insulation layer to. A uh, product I love is the Dynamat product. It's a, it's a butyl rubber attached to a foil backing. The foil reflects the heat back and the butyl rubber will actually absorb sounds. And it's a the butyl rubber itself is, remains kind of sticky and kind of gooey and, uh, and in time will actually seal into the little cracks and, and surfaces in your floorboards. The, uh, the downside of that is it will actually ooze out and in, into uh, bottoms of your carpets and it can actually, I've seen the stuff actually drip down into like headliner materials. So once we get this installed, We'll go back and we'll tape the edges so we've got a good, clean, sealed surface for the Dynamat. And this is a, a great product. In addition to this, Dynamat makes a number of other products to help reduce the noise and the heat. One product they make is called Dynapad. The Dynapad is a sandwiched foam and heavy rubber uh, pad that's best to put on the floorboards over where the exhaust, where your muffler and exhaust systems are because those generate heat and radiate heat up into the body itself. Another product they make to help reduce sound is Dyna Liner. The Dyna Liner comes in different thicknesses depending on where you plan to use it. The half inch works good for floorboards, quarter inch works good for the sides and all around. And then the eighth inch on your doors, you normally put this behind the door panels themselves to help reduce the sound coming through. So with that, we're going to start our installation on our 57 DeSoto project. Installation of the Dynamat material is pretty straightforward. Uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll dry fit the, the large pieces, make sure that they're uh, fitting in the location we want to put them. It's a matter of then peeling off the protective backing and sticking them in place. Uh, cutting the Dynamat is fairly easy. It cuts easily with uh, regular scissors. A uh, thing to keep in mind, as you trim and fit all these pieces together, you're going to end up with a lot of little scraps and little pieces. Don't leave them laying all around. From experience, they'll end up in your back hall, they'll end up in the living room, they'll end up on the dog's paws. Uh, this stuff is sticky, so take care to make sure you account for all your little scraps you cut and uh, then, you can, then they won't end up all over the place. The, uh, once we get the piece fit to the position it's going to be, 
all trimmed and fit, we'll peel the backing, stick it in place, and then roll it out to make sure we have good adhesion. This car has already been sandblasted and primed and, and painted, so we already have a good surface to attach it to. Uh, so with that, we'll get started. Gary will be assisting me here. He'll be fitting the, uh, the edges of the Dynamat material into the, around the edges of the car where we have uh, metal overlap. And if you want, if you listen now, it sounds like a big tin can. And uh, you'll hear again after we get this material up, how big of a difference this really makes. The material is fairly solid feeling and it comes in a big sheet, but as soon as you release the backing paper, it becomes a lot more flimsy and a little bit more difficult to deal with. And that's where an extra set of hands really comes in handy, especially on the ceiling. Gary's peeled back the areas toward the front edge of this because it goes into a sandwiched area here. Now that we got it kind of in position around the edges, Gary will begin by rolling it from the edges and then working out into the rest of the field. A good, uh, good rubber-faced roller works good for make, getting a good bond between the butyl rubber and the, uh, the actual metal surface of the roof. You want to make sure you have a good bond, especially on the roof, because you don't want this falling down after the headliner's all in place.
should fit. And we can't really get the roller in under the lip, so he's using a pry bar or pry tool to actually press it down, and get good adhesion in the in the gaps around the surface. There we go. The first roll is in. We're ready for the second one. Peeling back as much paper as we need to get the get the edges of the material to adhere without exposing too much at any one point so we don't get it positioned in the wrong place. Great. Okay. Now we're ready to move further to the back. We'll uh, get situated back there and also take an opportunity to get all the little scraps that we've cut and trimmed off. Get those out of the car. Once again, you can pick them up on your clothing, on your elbows, on your feet, and they will be everywhere. Okay, now that we've got the front of the roof done, we're going to start at the very back edge. In the very back edge of this car we have a couple of brackets that hold the headliner bows. We want to make sure we get the uh, dyna mat installed underneath those so they don't interfere with actually installing the headliner later.
good fit all the way to the. Using a roller now to kind of press it against the other sheet, and we'll know exactly where the one sheet ends and this sheet starts, so we have a pattern to trim it by. For the final step of our installation process, we taped the seams of the Dynamat with, and it was just Gorilla Tape. It, uh, it's a strong adhesive. It's going to bond to the, to the Dynamat real well, and it'll keep any of that butyl rubber from seeping out between the seams. The great thing about this project is it provides a sound insulation that you'll actually feel when you're in the car. And better than that, it's something you can hear. You can tell the difference right there that it's no longer going to sound like a tin can when you're going down the road and it's going to have that solid feel that you're looking for. So it pays off in a lot of ways.